Hello there. So if you're watching this video, you probably had the same problem as I have had all weekend, which is that partway through an update of Windows on my laptop, I shut the lid and interrupted the update. And as a result, when I opened the lid again, I got this message that you can see over here. Windows could not complete the installation. To install Windows on this computer, restart the installation. The problem is that if you press OK and restart the installation, uh, it restarts and exactly the same error message comes up time after time after time. So you've probably done what I did, which is go on Google and put in Windows could not complete the installation, etc. and see what comes up. And indeed, quite a few suggestions came up as to what to do, involving opening the command prompt box and putting in things like OOBE and MS, OOBE, and oh, I tried everything. Everything that was suggested I tried and none of them worked and it was driving me crazy. And um, I thought that I was gonna have to take it to the shop, my man, to repair my laptop. But I was prepared to persevere a bit further. So on Sunday afternoon, I discovered another video which didn't give me the straightforward answer, but it gave me a clue as to what to do. And I'm going to share that with you because it actually fixed the problem of my laptop. And my laptop is now working normally, which is good news. So what I'm doing is I'm opening the laptop just to show you exactly what I did. So I had the error message that you can see on the left hand side of the screen. And what I did is I pressed the on off switch here. And as soon as the laptop started loading, I pressed and held the switch so it turned the machine off. Then as soon as it went off, I pressed it on again. And as soon as it started to load, I pressed it off and then I pressed it on again and as soon as it started to load I pressed it off and what happens if you do that is that you will on the third or fourth attempt you will get an HP logo in this case and you will get a message underneath it that says um, something like um, preparing to restore and what will happen then is that it will bring up a menu, a blue screen with a number of menu options. So I can put this down now. A blue screen with a, a number of menu options. And one of those menu options is called troubleshooting. And if you select that, that option, then um, there will be within that menu there will be an option to um, restore factory settings and that is the one that I used and that's the one that I'm recommending that you use. Now the thing about restoring factory settings is obviously anything that you have installed on the laptop or anything that you have saved in terms of personal data on the laptop is going to be wiped. Uh, now, personally, I don't save data uh, or any data that's important. I do not save onto the hard drive of a laptop or a PC because I think it's too dangerous in case it's corrupted or there's a virus or something. Um, so that wasn't a problem in my case. I mean, obviously, I'd installed a few programs like Firefox browser and one or two utilities, but it's quick enough and easy enough to reinstall those. So. Um, Asking the laptop to restore the factory settings was not a problem for me and I hope it's not going to be a problem for you. Now what you do need to realise is that in order to do this you have to plug the laptop in um, and also it will take over an hour to go through the routine and it will restart about 10 times your laptop during that process. So. Um, yeah, you should allow a good hour and a half for this um, if you've got any intention of going out. Um, so, um, and um, 
and that's how uh, we got to we got to solve the problem without taking it to the computer shop. So as I say, use the on-off switch of the laptop. As soon as it starts to come on, switch it off, then back on, then back off, then back on, then back off. And after you've done it two or three times, you should get when you turn it on a um, a logo that says preparing to uh, restore or repair or something like that. And then you you should get a, a, a menu come up that includes troubleshooting. And in there, you should find a option to restore factory settings. So that's how I solved it. Um, I hope that has been useful to you and is going to help you restore your laptop. Um, if it is, give me a thumbs up or a comment under the video. Um, I hope uh, you have a good week and thanks for watching.